What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. <laughs> What's up? I'm Chris. We are into The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 5. It's called What Comes After. This is the one where Rick Grimes finally says goodbye. And b by golly, Mike, I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, we he didn't say goodbye in the way that we that we all assumed and thought and were kind of told he was going to go. Yeah, look, um, we're going to jump that's into good. it. Listen, that's we're, good. We're going to jump. We're going to jump right into it. But listen, you know, we're not going to go crazy. I'm sure you guys watch The Talking Dead. There's a lot of things. We're not going to go nuts on it. It happened. It was it. You know, it it, it was what it was. You know, there were some very cool things about it, though. And one of those things, Mike, was? <laughs> Putting me on the spot. Um, you know what? From the, beginning of, from the beginning of the episode, going into it, when we see the first scenes and we're starting to see Rick's visions and we see him back in Atlanta, which were awesome shots, oh, those, yeah. those callback shots Most definitely, of the, yeah. with the bus. And, um, and, you know, seeing that, it was upsetting. And I'm writing, I'm shaking my head because I'm just so pissed. But obviously by the end of that, my whole idea has changed. And it's changed for the better. Um, but there was so many cool shots with the, uh, the visions and, how, and the wake-ups I was writing, calling them the wake-ups. And how each individual vision had a different waking up. Yeah. And the Shane stuff. And how we got some parentage stuff. So I guess... You yeah, know, that's, you know. I want to talk about that real quickly before we jump on. Yeah. Let, let's just talk about the Shane stuff. That was, uh, yeah, up to that point, I was just like, I was shaking my head the whole time, too. I'm like, this, come mm -hmm. on. I'm like, oh, this sucks. Mm -hmm. This is, like, so yeah. sucky. But then but then he popped on, and I'm like, okay, all right, what is this? And then, like you said, they talk about, you know, they joke about, oh, how's my kid? They joke. He, he mentions that he ripped the guy's throat out. He said the one thing that we've been saying for years, which is, yeah. Th that's who Shane wanted you to be, and that's yeah. who you became. And we've been saying it for years, man. He's sh that's what Shane would have been. That's what he wanted. Blah blah blah. That was great. That was a gr it was great yeah. dialogue. It was a really good scene. It was really awesome. And then at the end, the the he turns to him, and then the walkers are there. Like yeah, very very cool. Um, uh, I also really liked uh, before we get any further. I liked how he pulled himself off of the the rebar. I was like, "Oh, that's got yeah. that was insane. That had to hurt." Um, and then the next the next vision we got was Herschel, and that yeah, was very sad. Obviously, knowing what happened happened to to Scott Wilson. Yeah, very 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 heartfelt. And you know, he's like, "I just want to find my family," and you know, and he's like, "I'm done," and this and that, and you know that, and then you like he's like you know you see the hand on the shoulder. Right, as yeah, like on his heart almost. When he wakes up, right? Yeah, you see it, and then there's nobody there. That was cool. And then the last one we got was, um, uh, well, we got two more. We have the Sasha, and then oh, we Sasha. Have... Right, thanks. Yes, I was, I was mixing yeah. them up, but uh, no, we have Sasha, and uh, you know, amongst all the dead, and you know, I, I don't know if you did what I did, but I was like picking the people out, like, oh yeah, there's, there's oh yeah, yeah. Is, you know. I picked out uh, I picked out Greg Nicotero kind of easy too. Did you notice he was yeah, laying there? Yeah, yeah, they're all laying there. So um, that was pretty cool. And then, like you said, there's that there's that last one. With yeah, with Michonne, and mm -hmm. and it was it was a tease to me because at that at that moment I thought that that was the real you know I thought that was real time. You know, he never really gets to say his last words to her before you know, he, he explodes the the bridge on purpose. It was even funny because when he's walking across the bridge and he's lowering all the walkers, he's like, he was surprised that it actually held. He's like, it actually held. Well, you, you know? know what? I'm sitting here going... Wasn't, and it wasn't collapsing. Dude, they spent months on that thing. Uh, why wouldn't it hold? The water wasn't wasn't rushing past, like, up against it. Like, that's what well, the whole rushing, thing was. Remember in the previous episode, it was like rushing against the beams, and they were talking about will um, the water cause any, it's gonna, you know, cause the bridge to fall or anything like that. But it's like, that, like so. you spent all this month, and that was, then Then you guys suck at this. Then you guys really, <laughs> then you didn't, you spent all this time in, in heartache, and people died. Yeah. And this bridge is nothing, so of course it held. And then, um, yeah, I, 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 I kind of knew it wasn't when they were all just standing there while they were talking. I'm like, all right, they're not going to – it's a horde. They're not going to stand there <laughs> yeah. while they're watching them talk. But So that's how I kind of knew it took me out of it. But, yeah, again, it was like – it was very heartfelt. And, you know, not for nothing, it was it was a crazy way for this character to go. And it sucked. It did. Uh, but, you know, I, I honestly do think that they, they, they did his character justice. 
I got the feeling that he's tired and he's ready to go home. And then they came to the the epiphany and realization that, holy crap, wait, I am home. Like these are my, this is my family, you know? And it's like, you yeah. know, he's like, I found them. I found them. And, he, and then he shoots that dynamite and, you know, you got to hand it to him. He's still, he's still a dead, he's still a dead shot with that, even though he's <laughs> lost so much blood and he's about to die, you know? Yeah. What do you think of, what do you just think of the reaction, especially of like Daryl after the explosion and, and even Michonne, you know, when yeah. being held back by Carol. Like, I liked what do you think it. Of- I, yeah, I thought it was apropos. I thought it was everybody was like, oh, God, no. You know, like they, yeah. you know, and, and you know, they'll never they'll never know. Now, you know, he gets. Well, eventually. I okay, think so know. he gets taken away by Jadis and Jadis is making this deal. And she says, well, you save me, I'll save you. Well, fine. That's fine. Uh, Gimple has said that they're all going to be movies starring Rick Grimes. So he said movies. So very interesting thing. I I'm I'm a little torn with these movies because now they're they're going to be block like they're going to be Hollywood movies. Like they're going to be that for the TV. Like they said they're putting the money behind it. And that's really good. That means they're going to have at least the production value of these shows because yeah. these shows have really great production value. So that's really good. It's not going to be a sci-fi original movie is what I'm saying, you know. But yeah. You know, I think that's a cool direction. I think it's a fun, it's an interesting direction. We're still going to get to see, you know, Andrew Lincoln, of course, obviously, I think the main thing was that he wanted to be with his family and now he gets to shoot a three or four month movie as opposed to a nine or 10 month show, you know, and, um, you know, so yeah. great. We get oh. the, we get the story. Hey man, one, you know what, man, one shots are good. That's fine. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then we're going to get what we're going to get more other countries. We're going to, I mean. Listen. Yeah, he kind of gave out a lot, you know, he, he like you said, we, I mean, we've always spoken about that. Yeah. We've always spoken about we want to see what's going on on the other side of the world. He mentioned that, yeah. which I'm excited to see that now. He does say that there's going to be three movies. It doesn't necessarily mean that Rick is going to be in every single oh, one right, of them. True, yeah. Um I know that recently uh within the last day or so, I think uh, Carol and um Carol, um most McBride and Norman Reedus signed a three-year uh, extension, and they said that they might have some kind of carryover in some of these films. Okay. They also they also spoke about. Um, uh, Gimple said that uh, we might even see some backstories of characters that have that right. have been. Uh, so uh, who knows? You know if that's going to be added to these three, you know, movies that are upcoming, or if it's going to be one of these three. However, that works. It's cool. I'm glad that Rick is alive. You know, uh, if you guys watched our previous episodes, I especially was was I wanted this to be conclusive. Right. If Rick was going to die, I wanted him to die. I didn't want any cliffhanger stuff. Um, in a way, it's a cliffhanger, but I'm I'm still very excited that at least the world of The Walking Dead isn't uh, without without Rick. And with that last scene of the episode with the new the time jump. Now there's a five or six year time jump, and we're seeing uh, Magna. Uh, one of the characters from the comic books um, being saved by this eight, nine year old girl, this, this Judith yeah. Grimes kind of brought, brought me all back into this and gave me an, an excitement that I'm looking forward to. And I know we spoke about this, so we're both very excited to see uh, the direction that, uh, that the show is going to be taken. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, know, with this with this time jump, it kind of like eliminates that awkward um, after Rick kind of a thing. Well, they they did they got away from that, but yeah, you know, I agree. I I, I saw these shots, and the big thing for us was what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. Yeah, how are we going to feel? Yeah, man, I saw those th- those coming attractions, and I was like, that looks that looks really cool, actually. Like, I I just I just genuinely think it looks cool, like. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why. I like those. I like the new characters. Like I, I like that they're in there, and and you know, obviously the whispers are going to be there, so that's going to be cool. Yes, you're right. That that time gap, we don't we don't have to see. Maggie's not going to be there, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Now, if if they're saying that that was it for Maggie for a little while, I wonder if we're gonna we're gonna see Herschel. Because that would be interesting. Well, from we're gonna seeing see him a baby. A we're child. gonna see like a toddler. We're gonna. Well, no, he's gonna. No, he's well, like he's gonna five, be five, six, five, six years, years old. old. Yeah. They say yeah, it's a so six year time jump. It's a six-year yeah. gap now, so he's going to be six, at least six years old. Yeah, maybe six and a half, because he was probably a six, six. It was seven. a year and a half since the yeah. end, since the beginning of the war. It was, or the end of I forget what they said. It was, it was a, a year, year and, and a half, half from Negan, from so, Negan getting locked up. Right, so so the baby's a year and a half old. So about, we're, we're yeah, going to get on, 
So we're going to get soon after, we're getting a seven year old kid. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's going to be cool to see how that plays. Or are they just kind of give us going to give us some story that Maggie left with him or something somewhere? We don't necessarily see it commercial. But anyway, talking about Maggie, what do you think of the Maggie Negan stuff? Even before that, what did you think of? Um, Maggie and Michonne first. Meeting. Yeah, that was a good scene, man. That was good. You know, Michonne, Michonne couldn't couldn't deny it. She, you mm-hmm. know, she brought up good points, and she was like, "Okay, fine." Now, um, so the scene, the whole scene is from uh, issue one seventy three of the Walking Dead comic. If you if you want to watch, if you want to watch it, and if you want to read it, you know, that's where that's from. You know, they said I I saw the scene. That's what happens. I was like that. I said they they must have pulled that from the comic. They must have taken it from the future of the comic and they just brought it right back to where we are on the show now mm. and you know gimple has you know he confirmed that he's like yeah we do we got this from this issue we decided to put it in now you know yeah. and i and i and that was fine that was absolutely fine you know why because it works in the context of what they're doing i feel like they said hey let's take this and this and put this here and move this here and that's how we move forward and I, you know what to be honest I'm, I'm happy with it it was it was a really good scene it's one of it's one of my favorite issues of the comic and um, basically what happens is, you know, no spoilers if you saw this episode, because it's basically what happens is she goes to kill Negan leaves after whatever. And, you know, Maggie's like, well, no, he's not allowed. I'm not going to allow him to go roam and be free. She follows him. He ends up and this is the comic now. I'm just giving you a little back story here. But he, you know, he sets up he's basically setting up a little life for himself. She finds him and he's about to and she's like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And he's like, you know what? Do it. Just do it. It has to be you. He says the same thing. It has to be you, you yeah. know, and, um, you know, he's super broken in that episode. Super in that broken. Scene, and, you know, a lot of people are probably like, is he is he for real? Is he for real? And yeah, it was for real. You know, he 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 whimpers back into the thing, and it was crazy that he did that. Did you think, especially in the beginning when Maggie was slowly turning the lock? I'm like, oh, what are you doing? I He's know, I'm like, this guy's going to charge you. you. Yep, yep. But um, no, he. Yeah, it's it's one thing on the last week um, on last week's Talking Dead. He, Jeffrey Dean Morgan was on there, and he said one thing about Negan is he doesn't lie. He's not. He's not. He can manipulate, but he's not. He's not a liar. Right. So for him to say those things about, you know, I just want to be with my wife and, and all this kind of that, that was coming from a place of truth. That wasn't right. um, a game or some kind of tactic in order to to take Maggie out. And obviously that was the case. Well, he's going to be he's in he's, a position. <laughs> yeah, he's in a position where he's. He can finally be vulnerable for himself, with himself. Super, super vulnerable. You know, he's in, he's not, no one's watching him. He's not, he's not the leader anymore. He's mm-hmm. like, I can just be, you know, in, 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 you know, spoiler alert, you know, in the comic, his bat breaks, Lucille breaks, and he loses his shit and he buries the thing, you know, and he holds like a little service for it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. again, that's the embodiment of of and we've mentioned it before of his wife so so yeah, yeah great scene i enjoyed it a lot um i mean and you know, look that's that's really it that's all we really got yeah. in this episode yeah. i do i just you know uh before we cut out i just want to go back to those scenes and first of all judith was awesome like i think i really enjoy you know first of all that's the little girl that played uh young ray and yeah in the force awakens which is which is pretty cool whether you're not you like that or not it's still a cool thing you know she's the fact that she's got the hat, she's got the python, she's got a little katana. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited, <laughs> and 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 I didn't get to finish what I was saying before. But yeah. looking at the coming attractions, you got Carol with a bow and arrow, long hair. Daryl looks exactly the same; doesn't look any different. And that's fine. Um, but you know, you got these characters. We've got Baron Chow from Into the Badlands um, yeah. playing Kimiko. Is that Kimiko? Kumiko? I forget. I, I forget how it's spelled. I, I say it wrong. But, you know, um, but so we got this new group coming in and, you know, and then the whispers. So yeah, I'm actually, right, like we said, we're excited. We're excited. We think it's going to be cool. Yeah. And, and the best part is I was talking with Mike off camera before uh, previously. We're not this. This isn't a season, a mid season finale or a season finale. Like th- these are all of what we saw is coming in the next co- right. few weeks, like I it yeah. dawned on me, we like we saw three more. Yeah, right? we we're gonna get to see all of that. We don't have to yeah. wait six months or whatever for it. So so we're yeah, like, that's true, that's true. It definitely had that vibe, that yeah. that season finale, mid season finale yeah. kind of vibe. And that's right, we were talking about that. That's 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 funny you said that. There's one last thing too in the in the teaser. We finally see a dog, 
and this oh. Daryl it will get a German Shepherd. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. If we I saw, totally forgot it about quick. that. Yeah, I totally yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, it was quick, that. and I, I mean, I mean, I know that I've always expressed that kind of stuff. Let's can we see like that cool animal next? Even in Into the Badlands stuff, I was always saying it would be cool if Sonny had a. You know, some kind yeah, of yeah, companion yeah. pet or something like that. So that's but cool. It might got, be bittersweet if, God forbid, the dog gets chomped on or something oh, like yeah. a sheep in a situation. But uh, it, it's cool. Maybe that'll uh, that'll help Daryl get past his whole Rick thing because in that last scene when when Rick, you know, the dynamite scene, Daryl slowly walks off into the woods by himself, has to say like, "Well, like this is my this is my fault. Yeah, it's because yeah. of me taking off and not." going right after Maggie to begin with that really caused this. Um, even though there was multiple, there it were was multiple several factors that led that, to this. Yeah, the whole exactly. Thing, but whatever. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's um, like Chris said, it's, it's going to be awesome to see. We still got three episodes left. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more. This episode, the season has been such like, so bang, bang. The pace has been awesome. It's, I think Angela Tank is doing a great it's, job. It is. It's, it's great. I, you know, yeah, I'm happy. I'm I'm very happy with with the pacing and and what's to come. Yeah, just give it to us. Just give it to us. You don't have to yeah. drag it out. Like just give yep. it to us. You know, it's good stuff. Yep. All right. So that's gonna do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, end the show, yeah. Mike. Yeah, guys, check us out. Of course, at Third Person Pod on all the social medias on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Leave those comments in the section below here on the YouTube channel. Let us know what you thought of this this episode. Did you um, did you like the way all things ended? Um, will we ever see Rick and Jadis again um, eventually on the on the show on this platform? Um, check us out on iTunes as well, Third Person Pod. Just let us know, guys, what you thought of this. Uh, we love hearing uh, from you, from you all and and getting that feedback yep. about uh, what we're doing. Yep. So thank you everyone who does who does comment and continues to comment. We definitely appreciate that. Also, please check out our Into the Badlands content. We've got interviews with the cast and crew. We have a Into the Badlands trivia show that yes. some of the cast and crew have come on and actually tested their knowledge about their own show, plus community members as well. And um, if you want to be on that show, just get in touch with us, our trivia show. And uh, yeah, so please go check that out. We, uh, it's uh, it's one of our other passions that we love to do, and the people over there in the community and on the show are absolutely amazing. So uh, yep. that's going to do it. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, we will see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. Good night. <laughs>